Okay, here we are. Uh, hello. I'm here uh, in front of my computer, sipping my Java, and faced with a decision to make. Excuse me. <clears throat> All right. As you can see up on the computer screen here, I have a Sunny Power Sports Rally 150 pulled up. Uh, if you've uh, watched any of my videos about Chinese scooters, you'll see that I have a few on this bike, the trials and tribulations, so I'm not going to rehash it here. But uh, basically, I've been given a unique opportunity to uh, basically decide between three different bikes of uh, which one I want to pursue. Right now, uh, at uh, Hell of a Scooter, which I frequently talk about where uh, I buy my bikes, I'll show you the website here. see they have a pretty extensive site lots of uh, eye candy places you can go to over here on the left hand side anyway I digress uh, I've been given a unique opportunity and I say unique because just because I've been given this opportunity doesn't mean anybody else will uh, my, my family has purchased uh, four bikes from hell of a scooter so far soon to be five and that's the reason for this video uh, due to the fact that uh, my rally 150 engine basically took a dump uh, the fine folks at hell of a scooter have given me the opportunity to uh, give this bike back to them and I can either after they repair it I can either go ahead and purchase this bike or I'll, I will also have the opportunity to purchase one of these. This is the Bubba 250 and it is a bobber. For those of you that know what don't know what a bobber motorcycle is, it's basically a motorcycle that's stripped to the bare essentials. Now, back in the old days, the old Harley riders, they would take off all the body panels and basically strip the bike down uh, to the to the bare minimum that they needed to ride. Uh, in the old days, a lot of the bikes would break down a lot, so they didn't want to have to mess with pulling off all the body panels all the time so they just stripped it down and left it like that and uh, that uh, is the story of the bobber this bike here has a 250 cc engine single cylinder I've test driven this bike and I uh, I like it actually I, I liked this bike before I even uh, decided to purchase the Rally 150. I was going to go after this one, but uh, when I uh, sat on it for the first time, it has a very long reach. Like I've stated in other videos, I'm not a tall man, and a bike with a long reach is a little uncomfortable for me to ride. So, I kind of frowned upon this one a little bit. But uh, Danny, one of the owners at Hell of a Scooter, said it would be no problem to either change out the handlebars or get a pipe bender and bend the handlebars that's already on the bike a little bit so that uh, the reach will be a little more uh, easier for me to handle. So, and finally, there's this one that I've mentioned in the past as well. 
the Q-Link Tour 250. Here you can see it a little better. As the title suggests, it's a touring type bike. Comes in three colors, red, gunmetal, and black. Now, also, from this to this is a thousand dollar difference going up. And then from this to this is another thousand dollars going up. So the Bubba 250, the Bobber is a thousand dollars more than the Rally 150. And then the Tour 250, the Tour 250 is a thousand dollars more than the Bubba Bobber 250. So that also factors into my decision making because obviously uh, with my layaway plan at hell of a scooter it's going to take me longer to uh, acquire these bikes depending on which one I choose the more expensive it is so anyway one fact one thing it's factoring into my decision process is I already have a 150 scooter by the way here's hell of a scooters website again you want to check them out I already have a 150 so maybe you know I don't need to have another 150 the 150 I have now has proven very dependable I've solved the uh, bearing issue that was giving me a problem the bearings that I finally went with are holding up real real nicely so that's not an issue anymore it's very dependable I've had I've not had any mechanical issues with this bike so that was the whole reason why I was going to buy another 150 scooter is because in case the apex 150 was uh, down for maintenance I would have another way to work but that's really not becoming an issue anymore so I gotta tell you right now I'm leaning toward the Bubba I really really like this bike I test rode it it's got a really nice sounding smooth engine uh, it goes faster than the tour than the tour 250 does because it's a lot lighter it's about a hundred pounds lighter it doesn't have a bunch of junk that I need to take off if I want to work on it. And basically, it would be the perfect bike for me. Uh, I don't care for the blue. I like the gray and the black. <coughs> Excuse me. So that's basically it in a nutshell. I have a decision to make. Uh, I volunteered for a lot of overtime at my job so I can make the buying process move a lot quicker, barring any difficulties. And, uh, oh, by the way, if you want to see a video on this Bubba 250, just click on the video and it has pretty cool video. Uh, this guy here shows, shows you all the little, uh, stuff about about the bike all the little nice little items that the bike has and then he takes it out and he rides it which isn't pretty to look at because he's pretty fat so anyway there it is in a nutshell I'm gonna try to decide what I want to do and uh, that's pretty much it if anyone wants to give me any suggestions, feel free. This is Charles signing off.